I knew that if I got a good running start, it would propel me in. So my confidence, it was good going down the slide, but every time I got into the water, I was plowed by my partners. So yeah, so when I slid down the slide at first, pretty good, it was all going well. Halfway down, I slid off the slide, and it turned into more of a grass burn. So I decided to get up, run and jump in, so I was a little behind. When I got in the water, the swim across was actually a lot longer than I was expecting. So we were getting in the water and I was like ahead of Nathan, and, but then Nathan just starts swimming and he gets ahead of me. So clearly I'm not the best swimmer. Nathan, Rob, is a better swimmer, but I was able to take him over with the rest of the obstacle course, so. <laughs> the run was super hard after exiting the water. You use all of your energy on the swim. That's like the first part. Your adrenaline's up, you're swimming so hard, you wanna beat this person in this first leg of the race. And then you get out, you have to climb this little hill, and you're like, I have no energy left, but I have to just still go run. I was not expecting myself to be that tired. My legs were shot, they were worn out. So I tried to sprint, but I felt like I was in a brisk jog. Yeah, I found, I found it a lot easier on the tires because when I played football when I was younger, we did that sort of thing. So after I finished my race, I wasn't surprised at all to see someone else fall on the tires because after the run, I remember being, being very tired. I felt like a football player, you know? I felt like how they go like that through tires or whatever, but the tires, it's, it's just strategy. I got it the second time around. You have to put your left foot in first. Nothing too complicated. I just threw my face down in the dirt and just got there as quick as I can. It was harder than I expected. Oh, my technique through the rope course was just fast. Fast and low, low and fast. Coming out of the rope crawl, I saw the hay bales ahead, so I was sprinting as fast as I could, and I knew I had to get a running start and jump over it with enough momentum to hurl me over the hay barrel. My strategy for the hay bale jump was probably just try not to touch it as much as you can. Like, I used to hurdle in high school, so it's like you don't want to touch the hurdle. Obviously, you can't not touch a hay bale when you jump over it, So, but it was like, that's what you wanted. So when I was jumping, I tried to just like put a hand on it or just one foot and then jump and then go. But I did pick up a little momentum to get over the to get over the hay bales, and after that, I just walked to the finish line. You know, most people would be like, "Oh, like I'm I'm in the lead, like I can just take it slow, I can walk." But it was time. My second run was timed, so I was like, "There's no time to waste. There's no time to be tired. This is your last stretch." you've got to give it all that you've got. And you might have heard in some of your videos, I was like talking to myself, trying to build myself up. Like, come on, you got this. Come on, come on. You got this. You can push yourself so much more. It's a mental game, honestly. Yeah. Bronze, bronze medalist. Three. Yes, third. <laughs> so awesome. Like you think of mud and you think of volleyball, like that's two, one of the two best things you can combine. I was afraid that people weren't going to um, get muddy. I was afraid that they were gonna just like step in a little bit and maybe get their feet muddy. But then some of us started diving or just falling and it just turned into like a whole volleyball mud brawl. And it was so awesome. I love that kind of stuff. I love competition. 
So when we started, there was not enough mud at all. People weren't getting mud at all. But by the end of the volleyball matches, there was definitely just enough mud to get everyone muddy, and there was then some more. So Merrick and Alexis, I would say, were definitely the most muddy of everyone there. Because first, Alexis, right off the bat, was diving in the mud to get every ball. And then Merrick decided to start just rubbing mud on himself midway through the game. And because he just lathered himself with mud for the whole time for some reason. There was not enough mud when we started. There was plenty of mud in the ground, but it had been dry like the whole week before. So we got ourselves a trash pump, put the end of it in the creek, sucked the creek dry a few times, but we, we muddied it down and... So after the volleyball game, we all shook hands, we showed sportsmanship, and then I don't know who started it, but someone decided to grab mud and start throwing it across at the other team. So that led to a big mud fight. The biggest challenge playing mud volleyball was not slipping and falling every time I moved my feet. Totally encourage everyone to come to Tough Mudder 3.0 next time. It's gonna be a blast. Uh, the day was really fun overall, and I would definitely encourage others to come back next time for the Tough Mudder. Next time we do Tough Mudder, I fully expect you all to be there. If you aren't, y'all are crazy, and it's on you.